And I know this is Pixie doing another video. It should be fairly a quick video. It depends how much I talk, really. Um, yeah, I was just chatting to a, I was chatting to one of my clients because I work in sort of the healthcare sector, uh, doing care work and all sorts of things. So I meet a lot of different medical backgrounds and people. I have an insight into some of their experiences and I learn from them as well. They, they get inspire me to think about my own health. And some of them have got their own ways they tackle it, which comes under what we call holistic practices. Like, you know, they might do certain types of physio, or other sorts of things, maybe they take alternative remedies and stuff like that. So I come across a lot of interesting things. Anyway, so it's quite interesting that one of the clients said about um, he has regular dialysis and he mentioned about um, his fasting and he has said he had to do some fasting, like 24 hour fasting. And then it reminded me that the fact is that fasting is a part of the uh, medical industry, but it's used as a tool to support the industries in the corporate sense. So I'm also aware that if you fast for a long period, that medication becomes stronger because basically you've got less other stuff in your system, and so you're more likely to process that that medication directly. I mean, uh, another example would be like if you drink alcohol um, and you're on an empty stomach, you know that that alcohol's not going to take long to get into your system, and your body's going to process it. They say, oh, we've got a sugar, and it's going to have the effect of. Um, driving the alcohol into your system a lot quicker and they have an impact on your nervous system as well so it's your brain and so on and your liver <laughs> so lovely just gonna fly around here um, so yeah so it's interesting it's, it's part of the medical industry so if you hear a lot of people saying it's not scientifically proven it's this it's that but so they already use it they get people to fast before they take, take the blood tests they know that it reset. They want to get. If you want to check your blood, they want it at a point. Let me get through it. They want it at a point whereby it's um, it's at its baseline. This is this is its normal level, and they want to take a blood check at that level. So um, so yeah. So there we go. It's it, it's in it's out there. But I'd be interested in why or how the medical industry viewed fasting in the first place. Because if they're suggesting to their clients, I don't want you to have anything in the morning, or like operations, there's an example there. They say, right, well, you don't want you to eat for, you know, 24 hours, or 12 hours, or whatever they were doing. They're already quite aware of some sort of medical facts about fasting, and also healing and stuff like that. And afterwards, you might not eat for a while, you'd be sick so you take a while to, before you recover and then they allow you to sort of um, they break your fast in essence you have some simple foods so if you had a bowel operation or something like that in principle that's what they're doing to you they're using what they know but are you trying to sort of almost it gets covered up a bit and it has to get wrapped up in drugs and stuff and it's comp they always come to the complaint the industry complain about the industry about people and about having to make changes and it's the public's fault, you know, like global warming, etc. It's all our fault. But the industry is encouraging it and putting things in place to make it more difficult. If we could have moved over to a um, hydroelectric type vehicles and all sorts of things um, a lot, a lot, ages ago really. I think it was salt water because of the electrolytes as a way to, through electrolysis, is to do some separation and um, get the hydrogen out and the oxygen and use them as burn with fuels in a controlled combustion or something. There's the, the, it exists, that technology is not so far-fetched. But I think possibly there's a hidden hand in play. <coughs> and I wouldn't be um, surprised if it was non-human as well, which might say far, far out. Not really for me, for other people, but I was just watching back-to-back -back videos of like uh, these um, phoenix lights and other people's experience and, and stuff like that and kind of the controls around technology we could be much more advanced we could have had a base on the moon we could have bases under the sea but we don't because we don't have jurisdiction to be there that's my feelings we've had um, we've been fairly controlled we could be much more advanced 
but I think it could be a much more complicated story with that kind of side of thing. Anyway, so it's just an interesting update, thoughts about fasting, and thoughts about how it fits into the medical industry, and who's come up with it? Was there a doctor that said, use fasting for bowel operations, or, you know, who thinks of these things, but they don't talk about them? Anyway, so it's Pixie sign off, and I will speak to you next video. Bye-bye.